Hello everyone. Today we're going to be discussing differentiation questions related to approximate change. The key idea is that if y is equal to fx, then a small change in y over a small change in x is roughly approximately equals to dy dx. What you would have to do is you're going to need to be able to identify in the question if it is a small change of y or a small change of x and what values the x are when it changes. So let's look at the questions that we have prepared for today. In the first question, variables x and y are such that y is equal to cos x sine square x. Use differentiation to find the approximate change in y as x increases from 3 to 3 plus h where h is small, okay? Usually when I do these questions, what I would like to do is I like to break down the questions into smaller parts. In the question here, find the approximate change in y. So this is our, this is our question, approximate change in y, right? And as x increases from 3 to 3 plus h, so there's two things over here. When x equals to 3, and the small change in x is basically h, 3 plus h minus 3, which is h. Okay? Now, using the formula that we mentioned here, and in this case here, it's going to be the product rule, which over here is differentiate left multiplied by copy right plus differentiate right multiplied by copy left. Okay? What we, what we need to find next is, we need to find the dy dx. So, differentiate this, dy dx is actually equals to differentiate left. So differentiate cos will give you negative sine x. Okay? And copyright, so you would have sine square x plus differentiate the right-hand side. Now, to explain a little on differentiating this, this is actually sine x square. A lot of you guys will be tempted to differentiate this to become cos square x. That will be incorrect. To differentiate this, actually you must use the chain rule. Okay, so differentiating this, you get two, then sine x, n minus one. So it's two minus one is one, right? And Whatever that is, inside gets differentiated. So differentiate sign, you would have cos x. Okay? Then, this is your differentiate right. Copy left, so you have cos x again. Okay? From here, just what we have to do is just uh, simplify the equation. This is equal to negative sine cube x plus 2 sine x cos x cos square x. Okay. Now, the, the next step here is to input when x equals to 3 and find the uh, small change in y. So, rewriting the whole equation, small change in y over small change in x, which is h, is equals to negative sine cube times 3 plus 2 sine 3 cos square 3. Okay? And when you type this into your calculator, in the calculator, it's supposed to be, you're going to type sine 3 cube, then negative this is how you're supposed to type this into the calculator. Anyway, uh, giving you guys the exact values of 1 by 1. Sign 3. Oh, and make sure that your calculator is in radian mode because you cannot sign 3 degrees, right? Okay? So make sure your calculator is in radian mode. To do this together with everyone, these are the values here. This is equals to negative 2.8. 8, 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3 plus this value here is going to be 
zero point two seven six six. Okay, then add them both together. You will get zero point two seven three eight zero etc etc on your calculator, and this value is actually equals to the small change of y over h. Finally, to find the small change in y is actually just this value here times h, of course, change to three significant figures. So it's 0 0.274 times h. And this will be your final answer. Okay. Now, moving on to the next question. This next question here is another example of the chain rule. So let's break down the question into a simpler format. Rewriting this equation, I would change it to 3, 3 plus 4x minus 2 to the power of 5 to the power of half. Okay, to the power of half. Then in the question here, find an expression for f prime x, giving your answers as a simplified algebraic fraction. So what we're going to do is using chain rule, Again, chain rule, we have it over here. The, the power multiplies in front first. Then you have 3 plus 4x minus 2 to the power of 5. The whole thing, power minus 1, right? So half times half minus 1 to give me negative half. Then what happens is I need to differentiate whatever's inside here. So if I differentiate this one more time, you're going to end up with another chain rule. Differentiating this, you will have gotten 5 times 4x minus 2 to the power of 4. All right? Now, all I have to do is rewrite this whole equation as a simplified algebraic fraction to the power of negative half basically just means bring down to the denominator and square root, right? Rewriting everything out. Oh, sorry, missed out on one thing here. Differentiate whatever's inside as well, right? So there's a 4 at the back here. Okay, then once again, rewriting everything, I have 20 4x minus 2 to the power of 4 over 2. This part brings to the denominator. So it's 3 plus 4x minus 2 to the power of 5 to the power of half. Then what I can do is I can just further simplify the 20 and the 2 to get to get my final answer of 10 bracket 4 x minus 2 to the power of 4 over power of half, right? Which basically means square root 3 plus 4x minus 2 to the power of 5. Okay? So this is your chain rule. Then in the next question, variables x and y are related by the equation y equals to 5x over 3x plus 2. Using differentiation, find the approximate change of x when y increases from 10 by the small amount of 0 0.01. So once again, let's identify what we have here. Find the approximate change in x. So in this case here, I'm looking for the approximate change in x. When y increases from 10, y is equal to 10 by the small amount of 0 0.01. So the small change in y is 0 0.01. Okay, then from here, the next thing I'm definitely going to do in these approximate change questions is to find the dy dx, right? To find the dy dx, this is actually your quotient rule. For the quotient rule, I have a simple rule to make it uh, sound simpler, more layman term, which basically means differentiate top, differentiate top here, okay, dy, dx, differentiate top, you will get 5. Then copy bottom, right? So you have 3x plus 2 minus differentiate bottom, which is 3 
copy top is 5x okay over uh, the copy bottom square so it's 3x plus 2 square expand this equation here you would have gotten 15x plus 10 minus 15x over 3x plus 2. Now, this is your dy dx. Oh, sorry, further simplifies to 10 over square. 3x plus 2 square. Okay? Now, in this case here, since we have the value of y, and we like uh, like the previous question, we need to substitute a value for x, right? In this case, we have to find the x value. To find the x value, just have to find substitute y equals to 10. 10 is equals to 5x over 3x plus 2. Bring the bring the 3x plus 2 over here. I have 30x plus 20 is equals to 5x. Then bring the 5 and the 20 swap positions. You have 25x is equals to negative 20. Therefore, x is equals to negative 20 over 25, negative 4 over 5. So these are the type of questions where you have to find the x value yourself because you're, there's no point substituting the y value in here. There's no y in your dy dx. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start writing down the uh, relationship. Small change of y, which is 0 0.01 over the small change in x, which is the value that we're looking for, is equals to dy dx 10 over 3x, sorry, x is now 0, negative 4 over 5, which is negative uh, 0 0.8, right? Negative 4 over 5 plus 2 square. Type the whole thing into your calculator. You should have gotten 0 0.01 over small change in x is equals to 62.5. And lastly, small change in x is actually 0 0.01 over 62.5. 0, 1, there my answer. You would have finally gotten 1 over 6,250, which also equals to 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Okay? Simple.